The question here has the F word in it, a four letter F word. And I hate this word, fair. Is it not fair for Tata Martino to take Santi Jimenez to the World Cup? Now, what do you say? It is not fair, but roster construction is not based on fairness. Mm. Fairness is not an element in which a manager will make a decision to include or not to include a player. It is not fair for Santiago Jimenez to not be a part of this team. But the more I think about it, the more I get it, the more I under the more I want to understand it. And here is why. Either Santiago Jimenez, if, if Santiago Jimenez is a part of this team, chances are he will barely see any minutes. Option number one seems to be Henry Martin. Option number two, no doubt it is Rogelio Funes Mori. Although, although I think there's a big chance that Rogelio Funes Mori will start against Poland Ugh. next Monday. Uh, next Whoa. Tuesday, I mean. I, I think there's a big, big chance. So, at this point, I feel like if we're going to fight about the third option, doesn't really make any sense. The only argument that I'm trying to sell right here is something that we heard from Juan Carlos Osorio. Santiago Jimenez will be the number nine of the Mexican national team for the foreseeable future. There was a justification for including him in a 26-man roster, only that, he, only that he experiences what it's like to be a part of a Mexican national team in the World Cup. That's my point. Now, is it fair? No, it's not fair. But I don't think managers use fairness as an element for considering who's in and who's out. Injusticia! Injusticia, it's not fair. And you saying you don't even want to argue because he's going to be the fourth forward? You just argued for Diego Zainis, who's going to be the 26th man on the roster. Listen, I, that's listen. Bad. That's different. Listen, Mauricio Mai, our colleague at ESPN Deportes, is reporting that Santiago Jimenez, El Bebote, is the only player on the roster to get two phone calls to his camp. One, Tata Martino and that coaching staff, to Santiago Jimenez. And then another one, Jaime Ordiales, the sporting director to his father to explain the decision. That's how unfair this is. They needed two phone calls to try to explain this because nobody can explain it. One forward couldn't even lift his leg during a warm-up. His club team got so angry, they sent him back to England to check on him. Another forward was injured all season in Rogelio Funes Mori. And when he's played with the Mexican national team, has not been any good. The other forward, Henry Martin, was very good in Liga Amekis, which ended three weeks ago. He's the leading goal scorer of the Europa League. He's got a moment right now, and he can offer you something in the future. It's so injusti it's so unjust. Injusticia, injusticia, injusticia. That's why you got two phone calls. See, I think, I think Funes Mori <laughs> over Santi Jimenez is. That is not fair. Mal, go on, quickly. All right, real quick. This is how unfair it is. The argument that Tata Martino was giving for not calling him up is that he, he doesn't see a lot of minutes with Feyenoord. What did Feyenoord did over the weekend? They started Santiago Jimenez as to say to Gerardo Martino, here he is. There you go. He can start for us. It is very, very unfair. Even his club knows that. But Tata Martino has this sort of commitment to Raul Jimenez in which he was going to wait until the last minute to include him. Now, was there, was there a scenario in which you could take four center forwards, four nines? I would say there is with a 26-man roster. That's why this is even more unfair that Santiago, Mar uh, Santiago Jimenez is not a part of this team. He goes to Europe. He's co-joint top scorer, right, of Europa League. Like, that should be enough to get him in. And then think about what Funes Mori has or hasn't done. Played eight games in World Cup qualifying, over 400 minutes, one goal. Funes Mori has had the chances that Jimenez hasn't had. And Funes Mori, like, to me, never, ever took, took advantage of it. And even if you go off the and Liga Mekis numbers, injury. he had, okay, fair enough. He had, what, four goals this season once he returned from injury? No, but that's injury? what I'm saying, and he's coming off an injury. I'm adding to what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Four goals for Funes Mori this season. Santiago Jimenez had five. I would say he played half the season. He didn't even play that. He had played five games in the Mexican <laughs> League. So and and let I, it I wonder what through. data we're using here. <laughs>
I wonder, wonder what's the tiebreaker that in any way finds Funes Mori uh, ahead of Jimenez. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.